Hey, teacher, teacher, take a look. These photos from the Harpin Ice and Snow Festival. It's so beautiful. Have a look. Wow, that's so beautiful. I can't believe they're all ice and snow. I know, right? But something puzzles me. What is it? Why is it that cars can still move in this type of freezing conditions? I mean, would water freeze in such cold weather? That's because the water in cars, such as coolant, are mixed with an antifreeze. So, it will not freeze in typical winter conditions. Wow! Why is it like that? That's because pure water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. But impurities can lower the freezing point of water. That's interesting. So how much can the water and antifreeze mixture lower the freezing point? Well, it depends on how much antifreeze you put in. The freezing point can even reach below negative 50 degrees Celsius when the mixture is 65% antifreeze. Well then, teacher, why not just use 100% antifreeze? I bet the freezing point would be lower to maybe negative 80 degrees Celsius. Aha! That is a common misconception. Actually, pure antifreeze freezes at negative 13 degrees Celsius. What? That is so weird. How can 100% pure antifreeze freeze at minus 13 degrees Celsius, but diluted antifreeze freeze at below minus 50? That's because you're thinking about it the wrong way. The antifreeze mixture that freezes at below negative 50 degrees Celsius is impure with impurities from the coolant. <gasps> oh, MG, oh, MG, I got it! Impure liquids always have lower freezing points compared to pure liquids, even if that liquid is antifreeze. That's right, and this is called the freezing point depression of impure liquids. Okay, then, teacher, what about the boiling point of impure liquids as compared to pure liquids? Hmm, what do you think? Logically speaking, if impurities lower the freezing point of a liquid, then impurities will increase the boiling point of that liquid. That's right! So, impure water has higher boiling point than pure water? Since pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, impure water will only boil at a higher temperature. That's correct. Impure liquids always have higher boiling points compared to pure liquids. It is called the boiling point elevation of impure liquids. Mm. Got it. So, let me summarize what we discussed so far. A pure liquid has only one freezing and one boiling temperature. By extension, a pure solid has only one melting temperature. Okay, and impure liquids freeze lower and boil higher than their pure counterparts. That's right! Now let's try a simple question. Sure. 